What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Roddy. Do me a favor, smash that like button like Russ got smashed last night in a Twitter live space where some guy absolutely torched them. We're going to get to that video here in a second because it was completely disrespectful. And I was actually in that Saitama Twitter live space last night. It was like an AMA. And let me just tell you, it was so sad. It's like, oh, how the mighty have fallen from grace. It's been absolutely insane for Saitama, and it's been a terrible year for them. Before we get into that video where this guy absolutely torches Saitama, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But we're going to talk about the most asinine, dummy, smooth-brained, I have the IQ of an acorn argument for why Saitama is down. And that argument is, oh, the entire cryptocurrency market's down, so that's why Saitama is down. That's such a dumb argument, right? Saitama at its all-time high had a $7.5 billion market cap. $7.5 billion market cap. Absolutely insane. If you look at these cryptocurrencies that are down year to date, all of them, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum. The markets follow Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if Bitcoin is down 65%, Ethereum is down 69%, you can look to see all the top cryptocurrency projects down in that ballpark, right? Usually, if they've been around since last year, they're down in that ballpark. You don't see any of these top tier cryptocurrency projects down 99.999%. Now, the worst case we have of this, right, of these top cryptocurrency products being down are projects like Solana, which is down, what, 90 something percent because of all the bad publicity they had with FTX. So if you're going to say that Saitama is down because the entire cryptocurrency market is down, it better only be down, what, 70% or something like that. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. For example, right, last year in November, when Saitama was at its all-time high, when Ethereum was at its all-time high, how many Xs would it take for Ethereum to hit its all-time high today? Ethereum would only need to do a 4X. That is it, a 4X. If you go to Ethereum's all-time high, it was $4,800. All Ethereum would need to do from right now is do a 4X to be back at its all-time high. How many Xs would Saitama need to do to be back at its all-time high? Today, if Saitama wanted to magically warp to its all-time high, it would need to do 177X. That's not down because the market is down. That's ridiculous. This is down because of over-promising, under-delivering, bad management, bad publicity, and just lies and a shitty product, right? That's why Saitama is down. So I don't want to hear that dumb argument. And look, I'm comparing it, right? This is a market cap calculator. Polygon has a market cap of about $7.5 billion today. So it's a good it's a good example to use if Saitama were to get back to its all-time high, it would need to do 177X, which is absolutely insane. That's like a new meme coin on the market. That Those are the kind of gains you get aping into like a good new meme coin on the market. Will Saitama do that again? Maybe. I don't know. But to say it's down because of the market when Ethereum's only a 4X away from its all-time high, and same thing with uh, you know Bitcoin, it's in that same ballpark to say it's down because of the market is insane you know I, i'm no math whiz here but four is nowhere in the ballpark of 177 it's not you round it up round it up to five round it up to 10 is 10 close to 177 is even 100 close to 177 it's halfway there but it's absolutely insane that's a dumb argument but let's get into this video because it's absolutely hilarious now the guy this guy's name is the real effing trap went on the saitama twitter live space and asked russ this interesting question entire time so let's let, let's try to get some folks that want to shoot the shit ask a question tell me i'm a jerk no don't do that that's rude uh let's see here. i don't I, no particular order i guess let's see here um jesse t what's up man? how much how much blow you do today how much did i do oh uh not actually. I, hopefully, that's not your question. My man's literally went on the Saitama Twitter live space and said, "How much blow did you do today?" And the rest is like, "I hope that's not your question." But the hilarious thing is, like, yeah, that's the question. That's what he asked. Now, look, it. I'm not saying none of us like to party and you know dabble in some recreational activities. I just thought this was hilarious. And look, it, guys. It's, I'm not here to dunk on a lot of people who lost a lot of money from Saitama because I do feel bad for those investors. 
But you have these weirdos, these Saitama maxis that are still making pro Saitama content today, acting like the only reason why Saitama is down is because the market is down and not acting like this is a bunch of self-sabotage because that's what this is, a bunch of self-sabotage. And just go look at the top wallets of Saitama. Go ahead and go on Etherscan. Look at the top wallets. Are these top wallets buying back into Saitama or are they slowly selling off when they can, right? Are they doing that? Because look at the entire market cap of Saitama is about $49 million, right? In that ballpark. The liquidity is $3 million. So if you go to holders and you look at some of the, how much some of these top wallets have, right? Like this wallet, like here has $782,000. This wallet has, you know, uh, $3 million. Like you cannot sell obviously all your tokens. So what they have to do is slowly sell off over time. Now I'm not saying that a lot of these top wallets are dev wallets because I, who knows it's DeFi, it's all anonymous, but it doesn't look good. And what it looks like is that these guys are slowly milking this shit all the way down to the bottom. Them. Now, there's one thing I want to mention here at the end of this, and it could be conspiracy theory. I don't know. But I know that back when Russ was doing that partnership with Islam Makachev, Islam Makachev, the MMA fighter, when I was tracking funds that were being sent to, to different exchanges, I did notice a top wallet, which we know was a developer wallet. We don't know whose wallet. I know that they did send money to FTX at one point. I wonder... If there are any Saitama developers that are affected by the FTX collapse, I don't know. When I saw the $100,000 around this, so I saw $100,000 move from my wallet to another wallet to FTX exchange. I'm not sure if this was to pay Islam. I'm not sure if they were just cashing out. I don't know what happened, but I do know he was paid in Saitama tokens, right? So we'll see what happens. This is a very interesting situation, right? But that's just conspiracy theory. Were some of the Saitama dev team uh, affected by the FTX class? I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think? What do you think of this absolute legend in the real trap for uh, the real effing trap for going up there and torching Russ? I think it was absolutely hilarious. Let me know what the comments down. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to y'all very very soon. Peace.